Have you guys ever watched the Sam and Max epi cartoon episode, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang? The episode featured a duo trying to stop the villain of the episode, the dreaded Larvo. She tries to take over the world by spreading a virus of her creation, the obnoxious tourist virus, to take over the world. But the freelance police stops her and the island explodes like a nuclear weapon. But what if, for some reason, the freelance police were unable to stop her and she actually launched her missiles? What would the world be like? Would, would the show have an alternate ending? Let's find out. So to start, Larvo launches her missiles from her island, and the silos did not close because, well, obviously. Normally, Snacks would step in and press a bunch of buttons and ask for fries for some reason. But this, but in an alternate universe, Larvo manages to launch her missiles from her island and destroy the world. What comes afterwards? Well. Well, simple, really. She would launch her missiles and take over the world. So, what would the world be like? Well, beforehand, the freelance police would able be go would able to be go to her island and be trapped by Larvo. But what if? If she, well, <laughs> you already know what I'm about to say. Um. Then the bombs drop all over several cities, and the obnoxious tourist virus spreads like a plague, kind of what, kind of to what we've seen in 2020. So I'm guessing you all know how that's like. Anyway, a rude behavior will cause 50 cup, fisticuffs and fights all across the planet, causing chaos and war. And when the dust settles, Larvo would remain, would, would remain to rule all. So, what would the world look like under her rule? Well, simple, really. Just statues of her in every city. And Darla, Sam, and Max are fried. They're dead. In the normal episode, she gets defeated in... In, like... She gets away on a ski. Jet ski. But... What did she say about her and the freelance will meet again? She's normal. In the normal episode, she says, We will meet again, freelance police. But in the meantime, I hope really lousy things happen to you and all the teams you bet on lose. Well, she couldn't say anything lewd or dark because it's a kid's show. So, what did she say? What did she mean when she said that? She doesn't appear in the final episode, so could this potentially lead to a possible 2020 reboot of the show? Or maybe like a movie to wrap things up? Or maybe just a fan fiction? Only time will tell.